it's just four years, don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs>Hi, I'm Dylan Marin, and I am joined by a panel of Muslim American women to shut down some bullshit. Are you ready to shut down some bullshit? It's about yeah. time. <laughs> Let's, Let's do it. Islamophobic hate crimes aren't real. You're just overreacting. A Muslim woman was set on fire a few months ago. That's pretty real. I think everybody knows someone, <laughs> not even like to the third degree, but to the, you know, to the first degree knows someone who's been attacked or harassed. The way I see it, I'm not overreacting. Overreaction is, you know, proposing a Muslim ban. The Muslim registry will just keep us safer. It creates like an ethos of stigma. And so it's just when, you know, you sign up a whole group, it's saying something about them. Every single one of them, everyone who in any way identifies with Islam will be stigmatized by it. It's really designed to horrify people and to give people a, a way to express their hate. I think fear um, has been used throughout this country's history for a very long time, and I think it's the, their most powerful to, to tool to dehumanize folks. Let's just wait and see what happens without freaking out. I mean, it's happening. It's, it's not like wait and see what happens. <laughs> right. Like, all Let's of this wait has and see been if happening. there's Islamophobia, okay? <laughs> exactly. Then we'll determine. Let's wait and see how this whole racism yeah. thing plays out in this country. Yeah. And racism hasn't been proven yet. It's just a myth, <laughs> so we are figuring it out. You're all just being whiny SJWs. Sorry I'm intruding in your own conservative safe space. Yeah. We should be more sensitive. <laughs> I'm also really sorry that oppression hurts you this badly that you can't even listen to it anymore. Islam oppresses women. Islam isn't oppressive towards women. People are, but not Islam. Why are we talking about Islam? Like yeah. it's like this physical thing that yeah. just is like a right. boulder that you plop on somebody's head. Like, come on, Muslims make up Islam. Islamophobic hate crimes are bad, but there is nothing we can do to stop them. I mean, there's everything you can do to stop them. I mean, everything, small things, big things, medium things, everything. And by doing nothing, you ensure that. When you're silent, you're being complicit in the violence and harassment and the murders of innocent people, including Muslim Americans in this country. I would take it a step even further. By being silent, you are actively participating in maintaining the system as it exists, which allows for hate crimes, which allows for oppression, which allows for harassment and assault. Being active, and stopping it.